We are facing like a, a death spiral when it comes to how our agriculture sustains itself. Okay. Um, I have some numbers for you. Okay. 35% of the world's food crops depend on a animal pollinators. Okay. Bees are the things that take, um, you know, the female part of one flower, put it into the male part of another, other, another flower, and then we get fruit. Mm -hmm. Okay. So anything that has fruit really requires pollinators. Okay. okay? Something like one in three bites of human food requires, requires a pollinator. pollinator. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, the economic value is something like $500 billion. Mm -hmm. In the U.S. alone, it's something like $30 billion mm -hmm. annually. Um, and a single honeybee's co um, pollination like a single honeybee col colony's pollination um, is worth a hundred times more to the community than it is to the beekeeper. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. You, we've seen, you know, when we go out to um, Los Olivos and all, all these, all these other guys, like we, we see these bee communities, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. yeah, that, that bee colony is worth a hundred times more than it is to the bee. And those bee populations are declining. Okay, something like forty percent per year, it, like rapidly, rapidly, dude. It's it's the losses in twenty twenty five are projected to be around sixty to seventy percent. Okay, and this comes from a variety of factors. It's environmental, climate change, like warmer temperatures are not good for the bees. Um, plants bloom at times the bees are not active. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, one yeah. of the other big ones is the, a core nutritional gap between when you have these like colonies that are that are um, sort of reared by beekeepers. Um, there's a nutritional gap between what the beekeepers can give to the bees and what they actually require. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, it's been really hard to actually bridge that gap because what, what they're really lacking is these things called essential sterols. It's like cholesterol and other types of like fatty acids that are really hard to synthesize in a industrial manner. Mm -hmm. Cause a lot of times what the, what these beekeepers do is they, they're not relying on like the, the flowers mm -hmm to feed the bees they have like artificial yep. like you know feed yep but um you're, you're not able to fulfill the entire nut nutritional needs yep okay and that is what this paper is addressing what they did was they bioengineered yeast to make all of the essential oils that bees require this is okay fascinating right